सो गाइज आई एम हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद इंपॉर्टेंट नोटिफिकेशन रिलेटेड टू बी ई एल यू नो दैट बी ई एल इज अवरत्न कंपनी एंड दे हैव गिवन सम वैकेंसीज दे आर रिलेटेड टू प्रोबेशनरी इंजीनियर इन ई टू ग्रेड टू जीरो फाइव आर द नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड इज द पे स्केल ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स इज द एज लिमिट एज पर फर्स्ट सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड गाइज you would be getting all other benefits like psu peoples are getting da hra conveyance allowance medical reimbursement all other things you will be getting as per the rules and you can see the package will be ctc will be 12 lakh to 12.5 lakh which is a very decent package okay so my dear uh, then we are seeing the bifurcation branch wise 124 number is there for ec branch 63 is there for mechanical branch 18 is there for computer science branch 12 is there for this management and then 15 is for ca or cma final okay so my dear then you can see they have also mentioned like uh, you can see uh, the pwbd candidates they have mentioned the benchmark disabilities okay then my dear we are moving further to the reservations in that that is what is reservation so total general category will be having 96 62 obc non creamy layer 34 sc 17 st 23 ews total is 232 eligible as you know for probationary engineer uh, for general obc ews candidate first class in be btech bsc engineering graduate and from aict approved colleges okay in ece in et in communication and telecommunication mechanical computer science computer science engineering they have mentioned that the candidate with first class in amie that you know associate membership Uh, uh programs which are their uh, kind of correspondence btech program with pass class in the above degree of discipline are eligible to apply generally if you see psu are not making them eligible to apply but here they have mentioned that they are also eligible to apply they are saying that other equivalent discipline will not be considered like for mechanical post p and i cannot apply automobile cannot apply they have also mentioned calculation of percentage of marks in the in the qualifying degree would be governed by institute or university rules maybe there are some cgpa cases so that's why they have mentioned so first class is required like that is 60% so my dear then they have also mentioned uh, for probationary officers also that what is required for accounts what is required for other things okay so i told you about the btech categories okay then my dear age criteria as they have already mentioned the maximum age for unreserved category is 25 years whereas they have mentioned that where they have mentioned that in case of account officer the maximum age limit for unreserved is 30 years because you know that ca kind of course is takes time as well and then my dear they have mentioned for others there is a relaxation of 10 years for pwbd hai na and they have also mentioned that he uh, the candidate belonging to sc st obc category the age relaxation and admissible will be in addition to the relaxable means one is category relaxation other is pwbd relaxation so both would be added up they are saying that 10th class mark sheet would be considered as the proof of age okay so that is in case of non availability of the date of birth in that case matriculation or high secondary they will be considered as your age proof then my dear for getting the uh, benefit of reservation in non creamy layer those rules you already are aware of that in every notification it is there for ews what should be the maximum property you can have so all those things they have mentioned they have also mentioned about the caste certificate but they are as similar as they are in other notifications okay so that is for disability also they have given the detail the number of post as i already told you total 232 vacancies are there branch wise we have already seen then now it is important what would be the place of posting so place of posting you can say is bangalore gaziabad pune hyderabad chennai then you can say machila patnam then panchkula kotdwar and navi mumbai so they all are decent locations you know so they you can see that they have also mentioned depending on the requirement of the company selected candidate can be posted to any place in india or any section or department or division okay the last date for application is 28th of october and application fee is 1180 rupees that is 1000 plus gst then they have also mentioned that you need to give all the information correctly otherwise you are uh, 
फॉर्म कैन बी रिजेक्टेड देन द मेथड ऑफ सिलेक्शन कैंडिडेट हु विल मीट द क्वालिफाइंग क्राइटेरिया मींस 60% यू आर हैविंग इन द बीटेक देन माय डियर यू आर यू वुड बी शॉर्टलिस्टेड बेस्ड ऑन दैट इट विल बी अ प्रोविजनल शॉर्टलिस्ट देन बेस्ड ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस इन सीबीटी कैंडिडेट विल बी प्रोविजनली शॉर्टलिस्ट फॉर इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट यूर फॉर्म विल बी सिलेक्टेड दैट सिक्सटी इज देयर देन यू आर अप्लाइंग एंड यू आर देयर फॉर सीबीटी After CBT, you will be shortlisted for interview. Okay, and then, my dear, they are saying candidate who meet the qualifying criteria and online application are accepted are required to log into BEL website and enter their credential. And you will be getting a call letter for CBT. Then uh, you can see the shortlisted candidates also on the website for the interview. But as I, as you know, we are coming up with such notification. So if you have Uh, already joined our telegram and our youtube channel you will get the notification for that then cbt will be held in the december 2023 so you are having two months time which is also decent once again they are saying the cbt will be held at the centers mentioned in the annex german there are some cities mentioned and they have said you can uh, choose five test center based on the availability of test center you will be allotted one of them okay then my dear the cbt will be consisting of objective type question from engineering hr finance as per the applications okay then they have mentioned that uh, general aptitude will also be there as with the technical and the list of candidate who have been shortlisted for the cbt and then for the interview will be published on the website you can check that i already told you how to apply for that you need to apply online okay so candidates have their own interest are advised to apply and submit the application so when you will be applying that uh, one thing you need to take care of retain the print out of application and payment reference then you need not to send any hard copy okay then they have mentioned that before starting the form you can have the detailed email id mobile number okay email id and mobile number should be running scanned copy of uh, the recent passport side color photograph not older than 3 months and scan signature these are the things required okay then my dear they have mentioned that also about the email id that candidate should have a valid personal email id and mobile number they must be running so all these things i already told you then my dear they have also mentioned that application once submitted then there will be no change possible like in the gate you get a chance to do that then they are saying candidates agreeing on terms and condition you need to tick that i feel you know all other things are very nominal which are there in all the forms okay so my dear they have mentioned the rules for the photograph signatures you know everything is mentioned okay so all these things we have already seen moving to the final things now okay i will be sharing this uh, complete notification on my telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana so the candidate belonging to general obc ews all these category should have a minimum of 35% to clear the cbt and candidate belonging to sc st is 30% so minimum this marks is required okay be lesser than that you will not be assumed to be selected but itne aage to uska matlab selection nahi hai ye minimum chahiye theek hai aur they have said based on cbt for interview you will be called in the ratio of 1 is to 5 for every post five students would be called they are having a selected candidate will be required to undergo an on job training for a period of 6 months and they will be required to execute a service agreement for a period of 3 years otherwise you need to pay 3 lakh rupees appointment of the candidate will be after the medical only okay all these things you already aware of 4th october ko iska notification aaya hai so now you can fill the form okay so it will be a transparent recruitment process okay then they have also mentioned one thing that is very important in case of any clarification regarding advertisement please free feel to contact through help desk this number is given so if you found any difficulty you can directly call to this number and can get the help okay then my dear we are closing this this is the complete one okay now these are the cities cities like in andhra pradesh in every state they have mentioned the cities where you can give the exam so these are the city where you can appear for the examination so i will be sharing that list to you guys okay so this is the complete notification hope you guys find this useful and you can apply generally we are coming uh, 
for all the notification which are helpful for you because different category students are looking for different things so goodbye for this particular notification stay tuned with us to get all such information goodbye